Receive warm greetings from this end fellow VIP winners and welcome to the 37th edition of the VIP News. This edition is a special dedication to Njangi Cooperative Credit Union's second anniversary. At the central microphone for presentation, I am betraying Shintum Tumyoy. Let's look at the bullets burning. History was made last Saturday as Njangi Cooperative Credit Union, Jangi Kul, celebrated its second anniversary at the VIP Winners Headquarters in Bonaberry Douala. The annual General Assembly for Njangi Cooperative Credit Union, Jangi Kul, was held last Saturday at the VIP Winners Headquarters as the Credit Union celebrated its two-year anniversary showcasing a positive financial report that indicates the institution is heading in the right direction. All roads will lead to Boya, the southwest regional capital of Cameroon, on November 14, as the highly anticipated Silicon Mountain Conference kicks off. Those were our top stories. Stand by for the news in greater detail. The news in full. History was made last Saturday as Njangi Cooperative Credit Union, Njangi Kul, celebrated its second anniversary at the VIP Winners Headquarters in Bonaberry Douala. The event also marked the Credit Union's Annual General Assembly, AGM. Members of the Credit Union VIP winners and invited guests attended the celebration. During the event, multiple presentations were given, providing insights into the Credit Union's journey from a mere idea to a significant achievement. The financial report of the Credit Union was also presented to the General Assembly, highlighting its financial stability and growth. I'm Ngum Venis Mwa, the accountant of Njangi Cooperative Credit Union. Today was really a great day. The occasion was so exciting. Like the population, I did not expect the number of people that turned up to be present. I was so impressed with the outcome. And our members too with the board were also there to cheer us up, to push us. And this second anniversary, man, it was everything. Like we look forward to having more occasions like this like next year should be better looking ahead jangi cooperative credit union aims to share the positive news about the businesses it has financed thus far the credit union has been instrumental in realizing various projects through its financial support by spreading the word about this achievement jangi cooperative credit union hopes to inspire others and continue making a positive impact in the community. Still in line with Njangi Kul, to note that the annual general assembly for Njangi Cooperative Credit Union, Njangi Kul, was held last Saturday at the VIP Winners Headquarters as the Credit Union celebrated its two-year anniversary showcasing a positive financial report that indicates the institution is heading in the right direction. According to statistics presented by one of the board members of the credit union, the financial report was very positive. The event provided an opportunity for VIP Winners Radio to speak with Neba Paul Azingui, the board chair of the credit union who expressed his satisfaction with the progress made and his hope for even more progress by next year. Well, thank you so much, sir. Today we celebrate the second anniversary of Mjangi Kul. That's on the 10th of November 2021. We took on this journey. We had no idea where we were heading to. But I'm so happy we are here today. And uh, with the results presented as we saw for yourself, it shows that we have really progressed and uh, our accountability is good. And our workers especially surprised me today, I must say. And uh, this is just what we are looking at. And then if you want to look at the impact that Mjangi Kul has created over the years, uh, believe me, like I said, uh, we were not so sure of where we were heading to. But now looking at the businesses around 
uh, the VIP winners community and beyond that Jangiku has financed. May you bear with me that this is enough impact in uh, just short seven years. While we are celebrating and happy, we are very grateful for how much we have achieved. But this joy is going to be short lived because we don't want to be carried away with it. We have uh, the achievements we have gotten for this period because a lot still needs to be done and uh, we have casted the vision for the next year which is 2024 and i'm so uh sure that by this time next year we would have uh, gone a whole lot of milestones again furthermore john etta the founder of vip winners community and vision bearer of jangi cooperative credit union expressed his satisfaction beyond expectation and highlights businesses that have been financially supported by the credit union this has been the dream we had i was seeing it uh, coming to fruition in front of our own very eyes it shows that uh, dreams are valid but i must say we are looking forward to a bigger journey cool next year we're looking for a more exciting 2024 and we're looking at bringing these various businesses talking about the businesses i'm talking about shift VIP Shift, which is a real estate, a Fatma, Think Tech Consulting, 1% Club, Seven Studios, Katika, Landlords, Mikati Food, VIP Molu, VIP Solars and Systems, Anti Shards, Evolution Design, All in One, Company Limited, Guest House Agency, Logan Beauty, Express Home Service, Chef Dawi, TNT Travels, Mafo Design, and you know, Last but not the least, Workscam, which is in construction. This is the circular economy that we casted two years ago. And we're celebrating those two years because we have been so determined. This is the fruit of hard work, sleepless nights, and determination. So we want to say congratulations to the Jangiku team. Let them keep that resilience and let them keep expanding. So next year, our agenda is to do more marketing, to include an affiliate program and to promote and in include more members into this financial inclusion. Thanks very much. The holding of Jangiku's annual general assembly amplifies the credit union's commitment to adhering to the law and being a transparent financial institution, serving as a model for others to emulate. My name is Kam Mervis, I'm the cashier at Jangiku and today I am so, so happy for the turnout of the second anniversary and i'm very glad to be part of this financial institution i really want to thank all our members who took out their time to come here and celebrate with us also want to thank our bosses the board of directors the chairman for their continuous good work that i've put in place i also want to thank all my colleagues Away from that, let's look the Silicon Mountain Conference where all roads will lead to Boya, the southwest regional capital of Cameroon, on November 14 as the highly anticipated Silicon Mountain Conference kicks off. This annual event, organized by the largest technology community in Cameroon, aims to bring together tech enthusiasts, entrepreneurs, organizations, investors and Cameroonians seeking opportunities. The conference will span over four days, commencing with a spot walk from Checkpoint to Mbongo Square on Tuesday 14. Throughout the week, attendees can engage in a range of activities including workshops, exhibitions, competitions, networking sessions and technology-focused discussions. Participants will have the opportunity to learn, share knowledge, and forge valuable connections in the tech industry. The event will culminate in a glamorous gala night on Saturday, November 18, at the prestigious Boya Mountain Hotel, marking the end of a productive and eventful week. The Silicon Mountain Conference serves as a platform to foster innovation, entrepreneurship, and collaboration in the rapidly growing tech ecosystem in Cameroon. Away from that, to note that in our previous newscasts, we inform you about Seven Studios Academy, 
a business in the VIP Winners community that is currently offering a 50% discount on all its training programs, including graphic designing, photography, and videography. Today, we are back to tell you that the registration is still ongoing till the end of November. Hello VIP winners, this is where we drain the curtains on today's edition of the VIP News. The news was produced by Fonzo Juan Christiantus, aka Crisco. At the central microphone for presentation this day, I am betraying Shane Tom Tumyo. Good morning and have a blessed week.